There we go. Um, you got the audio on too for A7 III. Awesome. Well, thank you everybody for tuning in to another episode of Beer Ventures Live. Uh, back here again with some more of my friends with some more beer um, for the people that follow me and any of us on Instagram You guys might have seen our posts with a few of our beers that we chose for today out here in the front and we had you guys vote So I'm gonna look at the did you get any uh, did you share any? Yes, I shared one. Let's see. Let's see what you guys voted on oh, Over the voting? Still the dark pink it's the dark pink can so the um, wild barrel, the cactus dragon fruit. You mind go get grabbing that for us? <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. So it's me again, Elevated DNS. I got Roger on my on my right. Um, he's not new to the group, but I guess he's new to the videos on here. Um, he's a close friend, a, a video guy that I that I trust with all my big jobs. This is, of course, my brother Garrison from the last video, and you guys remember Bambi or AKA Aaron grabbing the beer right now. Let's see what he grabbed. So the vote was for a dark pink pretty can. Let's see. Pink pretty can. Do you want to say something about yourself for being on camera? Or? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Introduce yourself to the people. Um, oh my God, like I'm giving a speech. Um, how you guys doing? Uh, name is Roger. Um, oh, I'm just blacked out. Well, what's your experience Literally. with craft beer? With craft beers, um, I have very little to none. But you have drank a few, right? I drink a few. Um, when he's guys. over here, I always buy a few, and obviously, I want everybody to try the craft beer. Uh -huh. What did you think of the craft beer you've had so far? You know, it's something different than your um, ordinary beers I usually see in uh, every anywhere you go. Like your typical Modelo or Budweiser yeah. or something. Awesome. Well. Here we got this Wild Barrel Vice Passion Cactus Dragon Fruit. This is a sour Berliner Weiss style beer. Um, as I told you guys in the last live video, these are a kind of beer I recommend to any beer drinker, especially any female, any mom, any, anybody that likes the sweeter stuff, even though there's guys that love sweets. But you know, you know, you know what I'm saying. Uh, let's go ahead and open this one up and divvy it up to everybody. Mmm. Awesome. So bring out some new glasses today. Let's see if I get the measurements right. Mm, look at that. Very thick. Yeah. This one's a very thick one. You're really quiet today. What's going double on? Double C you? thick. <laughs> was that on the last episode? <laughs> <laughs> like that double C thick. <laughs> yes, we can use them on drinks like this too. Use a double C word. <laughs> very thick. Mm. Here, you guys can share this can over there. Go ahead and grab a cup. All right, let's get a whiff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody take oh, a man. smell. Mm. Mm. I can taste the sour with my nose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm, I can it taste smells it. like steak to me for some reason. Oh, I don't know. Oh. You know, if you, I think you say it. Like a sour. marinade or something? Yeah. You can definitely sell, smell that it's sour. Um, it smells like I just had dinner. Can you throw on the 60 for me so they can get a look at the beer? Mmm, smells like I just had dinner right now. <laughs> so you drag it to the top there. Uh, cranberry so sauce. Can turkey. you turn the computer towards me just a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Mmm, like I said, with this one you can definitely yeah. taste it <laughs> where it right, goes. Go back to smell it one. and taste it. By just smelling, isn't that weird? Oh, whoa! Damn! What I do? My senses are enlightened right now by this one. You want to try? It? You know, I think it tastes exactly how it smells. On well, a stronger level. That makes sense. Like I think it tastes level. exactly how it smells. It tastes better than what it smelled like to me. Did anyone get like a lime hint? It's like a lime cake today. A lime? Yeah. It's like lime. At the end. Actually, great I guess, yeah, like right at the end. Yeah, it's like a grape juice. It's did, a very limey, it? sweet. Mostly sweet over limey or kind of that sourness. It kind of tastes like that Stella Rose peach yeah. wine. Yeah. Yeah. Like that peach wine. Like a little bit more tart <laughs> from the Stella Rosa yeah. on my end. 
Do you guys like it overall, or what do you think of it? I like it. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. one, heck yeah. I like it. I, I definitely good. recommend this to any newcomer to even Man. beer, period. Like, even if you're not a beer drinker at all, whether it's cheap beer, expensive beer, craft beer, or whatever, this would still be a good beer. Like, I'd recommend this to anybody. I feel summer coming around the corner with this one. <laughs> <laughs> like, summer. summer, like, coming over the corner, like, you're about enjoying it during summer. All right. Anyways. Yeah, I could see, I could see enjoying this. Yeah, yeah. I'm like very. Uh, I think kind of like a mimosa, right like a yeah. sour mimosa. A mimi mimosa. Did you, did did you ever know, think? I think it will taste good, like kind of slushy. It's like more. Oh yeah. yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, if you could get like the right temperature to just get it to slush up, man. Imagine. If anybody out there has tips on how to get beers or sodas to slush up, let us know. What were you gonna say? I said this one on a on ice, shaved ice would be nice. Oh man! It's like how, it's it's not even a like a what do you call it? A wine cooler kind of drink. It's no, no. It, it, this kind of beer, which you know, like I said, the sours are different. You can't really call it beer. I don't know. Where was the alcohol level on this one? Uh, where's this the can? Where's the good on shaved ice? One hundred percent. Thank you. Yeah, this one's. Very good. Five point two percent. So uh, it's smooth, relaxing. Yeah, it's it's a pretty smooth beer. Around five percent. Relaxing? I wouldn't say relaxing. I don't think it has that taste where it's like no. It's just because of the crispiness. Huh? Yeah, it's just the crispy goes kind of wakes you up. Five percent is a uh, around the typical kind of beer ABV they would have. They usually hover around there. You know what? For a fact, that's going to be a stronger one when it's above five yeah. percent. Or like close to six or seven, but this one's at five point two, was it? Five point two percent, yeah, alcohol so by volume. And as far as bitterness goes, there's pretty much zero bitterness to this. If I were to guess, if it was on the level, it'd probably be two or three, if that, maybe five. It is not a bitter beer. Was it bitter to you? You haven't really, I haven't really explored um, oh, well, all the beers. I got a surprise for you guys when it comes to the bitterness scale. <laughs> but Ooh. all right, I actually um, want to try that one next. That'd be cool. Yeah, you want to do yeah, that one next? Yeah. Can you grab that dank one? That dank mm. one. And here we gotta give thanks to Bambi for Thank always you. running Thank back and forth for the beers. <laughs> so what do you guys think about the current events? Even you guys back there. What do you think about everything that's going on? Wash your hands. <laughs> and don't yeah. touch your face. Even, even after all of this, wash your hands. Oh yeah, of just, course. Let's just wash our hands. That's okay. It's crazy how much this woke us up to the fact that a lot of people do not wash their hands no. because they were the ones complaining about it. Like, yeah. Oh, dank and that. sticky. So wash your hands after this one, especially. Yeah, dank and sticky. Let's go to this. My hands are a little sticky. Quick. It looks, I don't know, it looks like motor oil. <laughs> <laughs> to me, like. <laughs> it's Canon 60 on top. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. So, many of you are going to be able to tell exactly why I chose this can of beer. Um, some of you might not. So this is a hop, and we can go back to the other one. This is a hop, what beer is made of, hops, and um, it, it's obvious, it obviously reminds you of something else. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, And, 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 and it's back. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys actually saw or heard any of that, <laughs> but we're just pointing out the hops, or the hop, or the picture of the hop on the beer can. Obviously, because that's what beer is made of is the hops. And I was I was gonna name off some of the hops in this beer: Cascade, Centennial, Chinook, Comet, CTZ, Eureka, Mosaic, and Simcoe. Um, there's different strains of hops, just like there's different strains of marijuana um and different potency and this beer comes in at 8.5 percent alcohol by volume and uh the guy at valero 
He said this one's like a 95 range IBU. Whoa! It's bitterness. So the All scale right. goes from zero to 100. Mm. The higher it is, the more bitter it is. I can uh, I can take his word for that, you know. Yeah, definitely. So let's he go says, ahead and crack this one open. For the boys. Mmm. Oh yeah. Sundays are for the boys too. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. Ooh, look at that. It's like a. Hey, you know what? Let's go into this one real quick. This looks expensive. So we can see the pour. Man, look at this one. Ladies, want to try this one out? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, well, Thank gave you a lot. I like that pun, huh? That was a good one. Yeah, they said they want to. Oh, go grab another kid. I think it's a, uh, I think it's gonna be a good beer for you guys. Even though I know you guys are not gonna like it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and give this a sniff test. Get off your phone. Oh. <laughs> mm. Actually, it smells like a really nice IPA. Yeah. It's not as strong as I thought it was gonna. It smells sweet. Well, the smell is not that strong. No, yeah, the smell is not as. Wait till happy. we. Uh, usually with like double IPAs or triple IPAs, you pop it open and you could smell the dankness. I don't know why I smell gummies. Gummies? I don't know. It smells like spit. We got a reaction over here out of someone. <laughs> <laughs> just from the smell? No, the taste. You tried it. No, already. just the smell. No, oh. she it tried like, it. Oh. Like a public. Oh, <laughs> no. Whoa. No, no. What did you say? Okay, that's interesting. Sorry, sorry. All right, let's say just it. go ahead and give it the taste. <laughs> We're going to cut her off. Okay, let's go taste it. What? Holy crap. Whoa. Yeah, I'm gonna have to double you know, check. This oh. is dry. It's a dry one, right? Oh my god. It doesn't say dry hop down there. Go ahead. Bro. I'll say, I don't know. It tasted bitter at first, but then it just slopes down. Drop, dude. <laughs> Drop. See how I use that just like on what I did? Remember? Yeah, I was, so I was saying like, there are some tastes that just like you just pictured it like that. Yeah. Like, I was Ooh. doing that. I was doing that on the lot on the first episode, kind of describing because it kind of like you can see. Because it does have a <laughs> it does have a flavor roller coaster like that. It goes up and down depending on on the beer, depending on the flavors. And he's even described some beer as going sideways. I, I yeah, that's that. what I was gonna bring up it where the taste curves into a different direction. So on the app called Untapped, uh, it's a great app to keep track of the beers you drink and also just get information about the beer you're drinking. Um, I looked this one up. Um, this one's called Dank and Sticky from 2018, the Hot Concept. Um, this is an Imperial Double. Oh, and it has a 3.25 out of five stars. Imperial Double, that's yeah. why. Uh, that's unfortunately, why. it doesn't have the IBU scale or number on it, but um, honestly, I don't think it's up in the 90s. Man, it's that, it's now that you said Imperial, yeah. now I can see why. Just like as, you know, any kind of liquor is also has a dry ending. This one is dry at the end. Right? It's it because now that you mentioned Imperial, I was like, now it makes sense, you know? I like it though. You don't like this a lot. If you like beer and you like the taste of beer and you enjoy tasting beer, then this is a beer for you. Well, right? it depends, you know? Um, beer and liquor is what kind of takes over on this one. It does taste say, a little liquor. That's where the dry dryness uh, hits because it was it's an imperial. So imperials are mostly barrel aged, or they're in some sort of barrel being uh, aged a little bit longer, or just the way the the everything is in that barrel, how however long it's been aged for. That's what you'll get the taste out of in the beer. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah, because there's whiskey aged, and there's um. Was was there a rum one? I don't know if there yes, was. there was. There's different kinds of uh, liquor that age in uh, barrels. So even tequila sometimes too, you know. Yeah. Um, so yeah, definitely not a beer we'd recommend to a new beer drinker, or even new to new yeah, to craft beer. They're, they're, you know, to me, like it's, it wasn't about the taste of this one. I felt like it tastes like any other ordinary IPA, but this the way it made me feel, like throughout the you know it go down your mouth and everything like that. Yeah. It was just, I that's what I like about it. The roller coaster. Yeah. Yeah, this is like, is, like direct lunch. It wasn't just a drink, it was 
Oh, oh dang, you doubted that. You either yeah, hated okay, it okay. or you loved it. No, he, he either wants to get drunk or he enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> what was uh, it? All the above. Nah, but it was actually good. At first, yeah, it gave you kind of like, uh, kind of, it went sour, and then it kind of went smooth, and as you drink it more, it's just smooth all the way. It's yeah. just like, yeah, just. It's like a fading song. Mm -hmm. And it gets better with, like, when you don't drink it, you want to drink another sip. But then you drink another sip and you're not sure if you like it, but you do like, I don't know, it's kind of a weird uh, roller coaster of emotions with this beer, but I do like it. I like it a lot. Man. Okay. 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 You guys good? Any chips? Oh, good. coronavirus. <laughs> this is disinfectant. Remember, <laughs> make sure you got your uh, glass right here. Oh, we're six feet apart. Right? Yeah, yeah, plus I got an extra shield right here. I'm using a, a just like a Pope. lens. So like this Pope. looks closer. Yeah. It's a uh, Pope graded. We have like, watch, we can't, I'm stretching my arm six feet. <laughs> 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 Whoa. <laughs> oh, he fell through a hole there. Whoa. Man, just two beers in and look at us being retarded. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? You know, whenever you, like, someone says that, it reminds me of a hangover, just when Alan says, He's ah, oh, what did he say? He said though, something about him being a retard. Surprise, man! Oh yeah, he I was remember like, that. I just didn't say it. Oh, anyways, <laughs> but if you you seen the Hangover, you guys. Yeah. Okay, so he went to go grab the next beer, right? Mm -hmm. He got surprise beer. Surprise, surprise beer. beer. All right. What is it gonna be? It's gonna be the dog. It's gonna be. It's gonna be mine. You're losing what? what I'm saying. <laughs> in between shots, and you can change cameras. Oh yeah. Um. So I guess the audio is following the, the camera for some reason. Um, so when I switch to the 6D on her side for the close-ups, there's there's no audio coming from it, so you just lose everything. Um, we'll try to get that figured out for the next time. I got them lined up, guys. I got the next ones lined up, so it'll be an interesting, nice episode. With... So he chose another pink beer. Um, this is another Wild Barrel beer. This is Vice Pink Guava. As you guys remember, I reviewed a pink guava beer on this channel already. Let's see, down here at the bottom. Um, that has been one of my favorite beers so far, as far as size. Um, let's not go breaking any phones back there. <laughs> Our good, yeah. But, uh, Why'd my car get? <laughs> <laughs> um, let's just go ahead and pop it open and let's see what it tastes like. Make sure you get all the beer out of these these glasses though because you don't want to mix this with that you know i was thinking now too was um with the first one we had the, the sour where is it at? i'd like having the sour first and then tasting the ipa yeah you know maybe it, I, it was so Made different yeah Can we get the cans can you stretch out and grab them? no stretch out and grab the can You guys can share that and then give us the can back. And uh, we got dink. these these two right here. I got these two. Yeah. Perfect. Cool. Raise your hand if you are drunk, Garrison. <laughs> I've been drinking since this morning. So. That's what you said the last time we did this live. <laughs> what? I think those were the yeah, same he, words he's yeah. used, right? He's like, well, I I've think, been drinking since the morning. I think he's been drinking since that last one. Oh, man. You've been drinking since <laughs> the I haven't stopped. <laughs> The coronavirus, oh, it, it kills the coronavirus, you know, alcohol, disinfect oh, anything. Oh, yeah, so you're disinfecting from the inside. Yeah, so we're gonna you're, start eating you're disinfecting your liver, <laughs> so. Perfect. Um, so let's go ahead and give this a sniff. Mm. I, I feel like it smells the same it's as the first one. Yeah. 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 Same kind of. Except not as sweet. B besides knowing the fact that it's gonna be sour. You know? Yeah, besides knowing that it's a sour. Sour and sweet. Sweet and That's sour it. Sauce. We gotta do that episode where we cover the cans in black paper and we don't know what they are, and we just describe. Hey, episodes are just gonna keep getting better and better. Yeah, I mean Seasons. we're learning as we're going. Um, hopefully this <laughs> um, episode is better than the last one, and hopefully the next one is better than this one, and we'll just keep progressing yeah. and keep learning more about beer. Yes. <laughs> sour. We're gonna I get all double. Hazy, double, triple. Yeah, stabs, yeah, yeah. Quarters. Teach me something. Did you guys already taste it? Let's go. For yeah. It. We've we've had one of these before, you know. 
I think, yeah. I think I've tried this one before. Let's let oh. Garrison describe it first. Let's see. Let's see. <clears throat> I'm not sure, but I think comparing that one with the first one, even <clears throat> though it smells the same, I think this one's a tiny bit sour. A little bit more sour? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And a little bit less sweet? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you like it more or less than the first one? Honestly, I'm liking both of them. Yeah. Let's go to Roger. You know, here. I felt like it was, like you said, the first one reminds me of this one. But um, this one, it is, it's a sour and it just keeps on going and going. Like it doesn't stop. Yeah, it doesn't slope off into the valley of sweetness. Like yeah. Mm -hmm. Damn, look at that. Look at those metaphors. <laughs> go ahead, Aaron. Oh. You're always talkative. I know you got some <laughs> something to say. All right, all right, check it out, check it out. This one's very tardy. You'll de you'll definitely hear a different description from what comes out of my mouth. We got a comment that says, "Who likes uh, hazies? Raise your hand." Oh, uh, who's saying is that? You know, <laughs> who loves hazies? Have we had hazies? I don't before? think. Yeah, we've had a hazy before. Um, from what I remember, you weren't like the biggest fan, but you drank it. But there's all different kinds. Like this guy likes sours and hazies. Mm. Well, that's what we're figuring out. Oh, you like that? Oh, yeah, go ahead and finish with that. Yeah. Oh, no, no, that's fine. I mean, like, we just pretty much described it already. I've, I've had something similar, so it's, for me, it's like tardy, like very, very, very slight, like far in the distance, I can see sweetness, you know, back there. Oh, yeah, like way back there. Yeah, yeah the, way back that's there. Been a binocular? Yeah. <laughs> a little hint of sweetness. Do you see it? Yeah. yeah. Something like that. It's like that's, off in the distance. Over. Yep. <laughs> Any thoughts from back there? You gotta speak up though loudly. I like this one more than the, the other one. The first one? Yeah. I like this one better too. It's oh, a little more it. sour, like you said. A little more sour, a little less sweet. So I, like, I get it. Light. See, the light, the can is a little bit lighter in color, so it's a little bit more lighter, you know? This is like chilly outside, one. you know, the summer night. Just drinking. So far, I'm happy with all three beers we've drank so far. What do you guys think? I definitely like them all. I like them, but I feel like they have to be like certain moods for certain beers. Oh yeah, yes. definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah, especially food pairings, different food pairings. I've had some food that just completely clashed with the beer I was drinking, and it was the worst experience in the world. <laughs> and I've had food that matched perfectly with what I was drinking, and it was Nirvana. But uh, let's go ahead and grab the next beer. Let's see what Bambi surprises us with next. American Sticky was my favorite so far. Really? Yeah. I was sure that you didn't like it. American didn't you? Sticky is my favorite so far. It smells like shit. <laughs> snaps. It smells like snaps. How did you get that? Snaps. What snaps? <laughs> snaps. And mommy? All and right, mommy. guys. Oh, <laughs> What's up? Oh, dang. Here's. So you guys are gonna prairie. have to grab the other one for yourselves, cause little home in the prairie. Um, as you guys know, my favorite brewery is Prairie Ales, Prairie Artisan Ales, and um, I bought the second generation of their Rainbow Sherbet. You can see I have the first one here. Um, I've drank them both, so this is gonna be a new experience for all of them. They're definitely different, but let's see what they say. Um, let's just pop it open. Forget all the talking. Shut up! Shut up! Just drink the beer, man! What is even that? <laughs> what the hell is, the hell is even that? Daddy, chill! <laughs> what the hell is even that? <laughs> now, what's the alcohol level on this one? Five ish, right? Here, I'll tell you. This one was one of the first ones when we it's went getting, hiking. Even, yeah. Wasn't it? Meant to be on the same playing field. Remember that? This was one of the first ones that I brought when we went hiking. Yeah, the, the one with the sticker on it. Yeah, the original or the one that can't be for that one. Gen 1. Dang, Gen I feel one. like I just zoned out into pouring that beer. You know, but, uh, you were really focused. Pouring effort, 10 out of 10. Whatever. So again, <laughs> we got first generation, second generation of the Prairie Artisan Ales nice. Rainbow Sherbet. This is kind of like a sticker put on the can and this is printed on the can. I so, drank them both, and uh, I'll let everybody else give you their thoughts before I speak. That was mine. one of the first original cans that Oops. was kept on huh, during that time? Yeah. Was it? Yeah. Well, I bought it again because I liked uh, the beer and I needed the can. That's right. Okay, let's give it a smell. This mm. one, very bright, very <laughs> bright. So this one, it, 
This it smells beer. already like rainbow sherbet, Jeez. just to tell everybody. You know? Okay, go go for it, Roger. I know you got it on the tip of your tongue. You know, this I, is I, way I, different, huh? Yeah. You know, I feel like I'm in fifth grade eating <laughs> ice cream out of the tub. So comparing this sour to the past two sours on smell alone. Smell alone? On smell oh, alone, oh how would you compare it to the first two sours? The smell, this one, I don't know, it's, it's really fruity, it's it's soothing. Oh, um, show the can. Yeah, it's just, it, the can literally describes what it tastes like. Let's see if we get it up on the screen over there. Let's give it a second to... I think you just hit the eye icon. It's a little, is Did it getting a little up? hazy in here? Or is it just me? Drag it up from. <laughs> yeah, grab the blue light. Notes. All the way up. And then is the eye on? Oh, there we go. Perfect. You guys haven't tried it, right? So this is the old generation, and that's the new one. No sip has been taken. Pretty right? much the same design. Actually, no, it's no, I, it's, it's got the no, same, it's the same idea. Yeah, the color seems a little different. It's that it, it looks like it was revised or something. No, they use the same colors in them. Yeah, but now that's on can, it's a little darker. That's why. There we go. <laughs> so, thank you, Audrey, for helping me with the computer and switching. This is her first time. I just literally gave her a five minute walkthrough of what was there, and she's working it on her own. Thank one you. Minute. Appreciate that. Oh, one, one minute, minute walkthrough. <laughs> um, all right, so back to the smell. Give it a this taste. is way different. It smells way more sour than the other two, for mm -hmm. one. Right? All right, let's just give it a taste. Let's jump into it. This is good. I like it. Makes me smack my tongue. <laughs> but uh, who wants to go first? You want to go first back there? No? It smells like tricks. But they're for kids. <laughs> <laughs> Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids, right? Were you going to say something? It's kind of dry to me. Dry? Dry. The IPA was. What about over here? What do you guys think? It tastes like sour, sour candy. Man, yeah. that's a one sour. That's a rainbow a, sherbet. A warhead. Taste. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> rainbow sherbet. You good. said warhead, right? Yeah. It's like they made a. You know what? Are those rainbow toxic barrel ones. You ever had one of those? Uh, Arizona ice. Tea. Yeah, toxic waves. Damn. <laughs> what is some that new age candy or what? Or something. <laughs> What is, I don't know. Why Sweet does that tots. guy Bambi or something or other seem drunk? <laughs> what? 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 Who said that? Who? Hiking and whatnot? Huh. <laughs> I don't know. That's what they said last time too. No, Both of these thought, guys. Oh, <laughs> why? Are, every time they're next to each other, they're always drunk. <laughs> <laughs> why do you always put them together? <laughs> oh man, yeah, you guys are gonna be known as the drunks on the street. Nah, nah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a casual. I'm just casual right now, so you can get a hint by the sponsor. <laughs> that whole, that whole, oh, I got you. I like this one so. You that that, it, that oh, you've you. also drank both of those, from what you remember at least. Damn, that one's hard. Hold on. I don't know. It seems like it's a little bit more sour. Yeah. Yeah. Since the first one. Yeah. The the previous can. And it's crispier. Mm. Like it That's bites crazy. A I noticed that right away. I was like, holy crap. Yeah. Yeah, because I had this one recently right before they came out with the second generation of the printed cans ones and there's definitely a difference i think this one just has more bite more sour oh yeah definitely i need to try the first one though how do you you wouldn't be able to get the first one you would no it's gone it's <laughs> <laughs> yeah the thing about craft beer is usually i mean it's it's one or two runs and that's what you get when it's gone, it's gone. And they'll rebrew some stuff, but to me, it never tastes the same. It's always a little different. Yeah. Not that that's a bad thing, but it's not like just to give you a heads up. Yeah. yeah, it's not like your typical kind of like soda pop where they can keep producing the same, the same flavor. Yeah, with beer, you're, you're always maybe <coughs> ever sure so slightly gonna 
notice a slight difference in taste from the previous ones or but they're telling me to tell you to say sherbet right uh, sure sherbet. rainbow sherbet I said what? Sherbert. <laughs> what did i say sure uh, no i gotta i gotta go back and revise sorry guys. to the females back there it's sherbet 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 and sherbet they're different right yeah, sure. And Sherbet. Sure. Oh, Sherbet. Sherbet. Sounds like I'm saying Sherbet. Shut up. Sherbet. I thought it was Sherbet. Wait. No, Sherbet. Maybe I'm just gone already. <laughs> Dude. A little bit. Sherbet. Sherbet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sherbet. Let's put this can up to step. Before we get too wild. Hey, go grab the next one. Sherbet. Sherbet. <laughs> Here we go, starting to have fun again on the channel. You know, once we get a few beers in, we just start to let loose. I know this guy was pretty nervous to start. Oh, dude, it's weird because I record everyone and I don't feel like that, but then when I get recorded, it's just, it's totally different. It's because we're usually the people behind the camera yeah. filming, taking the pictures, that, and that's that, weird. That, yeah. Dude, yes, that's that, so that, when that, I got that, 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 that. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I just, look. Cover art on this can is amazing. Yeah, it's you know? pretty sick. So Who spotted can you this? Show one? the six deep without turning off the A7 III. Who spotted this one? So just no, just hit that button it? and drag it on top. The cannon, yeah. She got a cannon. There we go. And you just hit the eye again. Oh, I gotta turn it down. Let's show it. Yeah, it'll come on right now. All right, so this beer was brought in by um, Roger oh. here. It was just random choice I because the is. beer can looked sick. Let's go into it. I know who it it's, is. It's Johnny, I think. <laughs> I think that was Johnny. I can know what not. This is a sick can. I'm not even gonna Perfect. lie. Um, I've eyed this can a couple times while I was in there and for some reason I haven't grabbed it, but this is a really cool can. All right, let's go back to the A7 III. What is it like, old? Look at, look at, it's trying to focus on the Syn synopsis. Oh, synopsis, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this one looks like an interesting can. Blueberry and Akai, wild acai, sour acai, ale. Acai. Or acai. acai. Oh, I always say Akai, I'm sorry. You guys correct me on sherbet? <laughs> sherbet? I'll correct you on that one. <laughs> acai. Acai. Yeah. Acai, dude. Acai. Acai, dude. Um, sour ale brewed with blueberry and acai. Acai. And acai. it's the same thing upside down, same Whoa. design as it is right side up. Like and actually on the can, like engraved, it has like these little Ooh. molecules. That's really sick. That's definitely a keeper. It has like molecules on there. Mo oh, is that no the way, is that the coronavirus? Oh, it's the coronavirus. <laughs> We figured it out. We got a full year supply of synopsis. Did, did, that's the antidote. The virus can? Oh, I think if you decode this, you get the... Um, Free, uh, you get, <laughs> hey, careful, it might be a can of coronavirus. Dude, that's cool, sorry. So, did you bring that up? Delete the scenes, delete the scenes. Cut it, cut it. <laughs> get the lights on, get a spray oh, there can. there you go, hey, spray my can, my cup real quick. I might get it. Ooh, yeah, this is gonna be I sweet. I need some hand sanitizer well. on this cup right now. This almost so, like cranberry juice. Can we throw it back on the 60 real quick? I know you're starting to become a professional with it. Yeah. Take us back, please. She said she got five minutes. Take us, take us back, back, please, please. Do, 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 do. Dang, the one that gets on camera always gets the most. Wait, this, this is mine. This oh. Is, yeah, don't start <laughs> mixing cups. Don't start up. mixing cups no, around this one here. Not, right? Yeah. No, that's cool. Oh I'm my sick. Goodness. I got the mask. See if you guys can get a taste of that. Here you guys go. Unbelievable. That's a very interesting can. That's a keeper. So oh, yeah. don't crush it. Sorry, it's my can, Roger. <laughs> well, technically, <laughs> someone bought it. Oh, <laughs> someone wants to start their own collection. Did, did, did you not see the sign at the door? Once your can enters here, it never does. <laughs> oh. <laughs> your can is my can. This can <laughs> is your can. <laughs> As you guys can tell, yeah. I love to collect the cans. Yes. No, it's um, cool sooner thing. or later, I'm going to have to start getting rid of some. But yeah. What, what do you guys think of the smell? I think it's you need a storage for them. It just it, bunchy. It smells like a Starburst to me. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh shoot. Skittles, wait, 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 wait. Something. Skittles, yeah, something in that. This one Don't definitely mean. smells sweet. Hey, I got an idea for the next episode. I'll save it off for the... But anyways, uh, this one is... Maybe the strawberry banana oh, Starburst. Yeah. Oh, I take... Yeah, it smells I smell like strawberry banana. banana. Oh, yeah. Boom. Banana, yeah. I smell... I can taste it with my nose. Like I said. <laughs> 
I got <laughs> I got taste buds in my nose. <laughs> That's banana yeah, strawberry. Strawberry banana, yeah. I get it perfectly. Ding, ding, ding. Right. Correct. All right, let's go for it. Food tastes like. Uh, I'm getting a reaction over here in the back. <laughs> caught, caught me off guard, okay? <laughs> no. You know, it wants to be a sour, but the smell doesn't That's a, come off as a sour. This is like a sour, um... Or is it a sour? What is it? Mm -hmm. Is it? It's a sour, yeah. It feels like it a taste. Go ahead. We keep cutting you off. No, 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 because to it, me it's like... Like this, it smells like strawberry banana, but once you drink exactly. it, it, it changes the smell. Oh yeah, way different. Yeah, so... It definitely smells like strawberry banana when you're smelling it. It's like a catfish. Man, it's... <laughs> when you eat it? Like no, like catfish, like... Like it makes you think... Makes, yeah, it makes you think some other thing. Man. This one's this one has a dry... So this is a 6.4%, so it's not that high either. It's kind of a sour, dry sour. Mm -hmm. That's weird. It's like a curveball. Yeah. It's like one, yeah. Go, one way goes the other one. Big time curveball. Mm. Like that, I don't know how it can go like yeah, that, but like, it, goes, it looks like... like Oh, like they're right. gonna meet, like you know what on the computer when the ball is like yeah. trying to get in the corner? Like this? Never goes. Boom. <laughs> sour <laughs> and they go, oh, sour and bitterness. <laughs> oh, it just reminds me of another beer I've had, but I don't have it here. Sorry guys, remember I use my arms a lot. This is a very beery sour. <laughs> beery. That's what I would say, yeah. Beers. It tastes Beers. more like a beer than the other sours we've had. Um, more of a... Of, um, I, I get like a barrel in there. I don't know. Is it's that just weird. me? Like I said, we can it's describe kind of it like however we think. Things, isn't it? Like what? Yeah, wild the, the slightly sour yeah. one. Oh, what? It has a very gamey taste. I'll say that. Gamey taste. A little pawn, say. I like it. I mean, it's just different. It's different because of what we've had so far. I kind of threw my taste buds through a, it's through a loop. The, the side. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is, yeah. Yeah, it's really It's acai, good. isn't it? <laughs> but it's Jesse. Not rainbow oh. sherbet. <laughs> rainbow sherbet. <laughs> <Sherbet. laughs> <laughs> so that's why Just so you can see what's going on here. Everybody's sherbet, giving sherbet. up on poor Aaron. <laughs> Did you say poor Aaron? <laughs> <laughs> poor Aaron and his pronunciations. I'm just like, I like it. Anyways. Would you guys recommend it? Bambi, I would say. This no. one. If we want to talk about beginners for sours, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. For for someone who wants to get introduced to a sour, I wouldn't say. I mean, yeah, it wouldn't hurt. But I mean, like if you want to get them started right away into the, some hardcore sours. Well, if you already drink beer, yeah, you would know. And you want to go into sours, then I'd recommend it. Yeah. Hardcore. A little bit more hardcore on the sourness. How many more beers we got left? Two or three? Uh, that was uh two, four, today's. <laughs> and now we will go into what you guys would call gentlemen's hour, which we pop out nitro Guinness on behalf of Guinness Brewing in Dublin, Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go grab your sophisticated men's beer. Thank you very much, Bambi, again for running back and forth. The kitchen's about like a half a mile from here, so we gotta <laughs> run really fast. Um, me and Bambi go hiking a lot. And this guy literally leaves me in the dust. So something that takes me 30 minutes, he does in 12 to 15 minutes. He just glides. Um, I guess that's why he's called Bambi. I don't know. I'm sorry. I interrupt. <laughs> I, heard yes, yeah, I, I, too I forgot. This one was in the... Bro, two in a row. It was somewhere in the fridge. I'll say that. It was somewhere in the fridge. But I found it. It was on the colder side of the fridge, if you know what I'm talking about. On the left side of the fridge. Dude, I can't. It's it's called the freezer? Yes. I just didn't want to, you know, like scare people. Well, is oh, it the Guinness in there? Huh? Is it the Guinness? Thing? I moved it to the oh, okay. less colder side. So this is the second beer brought by our friend Roger here. Uh -huh. um, just randomly picking beer cans because they look cool. And that's, as you can tell by all my cans, pretty much what I do. Um, this is by Revision Brewing. It's called Northeast Style <laughs> Hazy IPA. Oh, you asked if we had any hazies. You're gonna right. try. Remember, I said it's kind of hazy in here. I, I kind of sense there's gonna be some sort of. Yeah, of course you. Who <laughs> likes hazies? Who <laughs> likes hazies? Well, last episode we found out we have another. And you hazy friends. Hey, they can't see your face, man, with that hat on. What's up? Hey, who are you trying to hide from, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you want us to blur your face out? <laughs> <laughs> so this beer comes in at 6.5% alcohol and, and. Well, should I tell you the IBUs? 
Yeah. No, 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 no. No? No, no, no. All right. Since you already know, just keep it to yourself, but we'll we'll all give our input. I want to guess. Like it. I said. I'm going to guess it. So just think of it like, damn, how would I describe it now that we know? Well, bro. I would describe this one as like 75-ish, 80-ish. No, you think so? It wasn't that bitter to me. Remember I said that one's more on like the barrel age kind of, so it, I, I would think it would fall under a different kind of IBU. You know what I mean? More on the imperial kind of IBU scale. That's what I oh, picture. This is, actually, my cousin just Ooh. posted a picture of a nice hazy that was this. Oh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't shake it. Well, not shake it, but I didn't. <laughs> oh, I did. I, yeah, oh, on the way did? over here. Okay. Yeah, shake kind it. of. Oh, oh. You scared me there. I was like, whoa. So the other thing, this is a Northeast. There's also New England style IPAs, hazy IPAs, which in my opinion, I think they're a little sweeter. Well, you know what? Let me show them the can real quick. Show them the cat. So just, just cool. a heads up on this one. This is a Northeast. It tends to be a little bit more sweet on uh, the IPA kind of a uh, side or genre of uh, IPAs. Um, just exactly the way this one. So like today's episode feels like it's more on the sweetness. Now let me you show know? you guys the beer real quick. It's a paler. So these are some different kind of sweets that we have for cool. today. All right, thank you, Audrey. You're doing a great job, by the way. Here you go. Here's your reward. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> what I was saying is, hazies, Northeast or New England style hazy IPAs <laughs> kind of have a sweeter note on the IPAs, you know? Like today, today's episode feels like it's more on the, on the so sweetness like, today, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We've had a lot of sweets. And this one to end a it with the hazy, sweets. Like I was explaining, this one's, watch, you'll see when it smells like a pine cone. It. Smell it? Really? When you taste yeah. it, let me know if you taste a little oh, sweet. Oh, I, I can see like the Christmas tree kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. That's but what it's, I said, huh? No, he said that about the, this one. Oh. Mm, yeah. right. So let me know again, watch, when you try it, let me know what this you This one see. smells really sweet, Any though. sweet, that's what I'm Really saying. sweet, and it reminds me of like a Ooh. juice. It tastes sweet. It don't. Oh, you already went for the taste? Yeah. Let's go for oh, it. Oh, sorry. No, 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 go. Describe it, describe it. It doesn't smell like the taste. To me, it doesn't. You this notice a little sweet. sweetness for an IPA, right? A hazy? This is really sweet. Right, Dennis? This one, to me, seems more bitter than this one for some reason. Mm. Yeah? This well, one, like I said, this is a hazy. That This is unfiltered compared to yeah. Imperial. So, but on the sweetness level? No, but I mean, this is called dank and sticky. Well, yeah. So this yeah. is supposed to be like super bitter. Yeah, and it's that one's a IPA. Just I might have to just drink another one because I probably didn't taste it yeah. right. With yeah, we got a bunch of like sours, but th this one was the uh, one that was like out of the group today. But that one like to you know get a little sneak peek in there on the kind of IPA. Series. But uh, go for it. Go. What's your description? It is sweet, fast, and then it goes sour. It was very refreshing. To me, it was sweet all the way. Sour. Very refreshing. You don't yeah. look too get refreshed sour over there at the end. Yeah. Like like you, you stop drinking. Oh, yeah. That's a good yeah. way. It leaves it your tongue sour. Like, like, like if you cold. just ate grapefruit, you know, sourness on your tongue. The bitterness. Yeah. Maybe. Oh yeah, I know. What you're Man, this is not good. They now that you brought up grapefruit, a lot of IP hazy IPs have a like a little note or a little. Hint of hint grapefruit. Of grapefruit yeah. yeah. Grapefruit and pineapple is what I usually taste in yeah. IPAs. Um, but I love them both. I love grapefruit juice. I love grapefruits. Lots of people think I'm weird for it, but no, that's, that's why it's a fruit. I like grapefruit. How do you, okay, so for a, your first hazy IPA that you know of, how do you like it? It was sweet to me. Sweet? Even though I hope I IPAs didn't. aren't usually sweet. No, like, I don't know. It smells like pine cones. Yeah. But it tastes real sweet. Did Dang. you like it though? Yeah, you know, I, I like it. Would you buy it again? Probably not. No, because it's. I feel like I'm drinking. I'll be honest. Wine. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like yeah that's like, cool. Like See, not everybody's gonna be like, yeah, you know. Yeah, of course. Yeah. That's what, cool. what about that's you? Cool. What do you think? Last episode, you said you liked the hazies. Do you like this one? Uh, this is a different one. I like the one from last episode. This one, like, like I said, it, it, that grapefruit at the end leaves just your tongue kind of like bitter at the end. So remember, this is a northeast, not just a regular hazy. It's a northeast style hazy IPA. Oh. IBUs, Actually, we didn't even go for oh, it. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. IBUs. I don't know. That totally you want to hear my out. input first? Yeah, yeah. All right. I would say this one is between the 40s and 50s. What? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm reading the comments of 40s and 50s. 
40s and 50s. Okay, what do you think? Um, we'll see I'm that. I'm thinking right about there. the same thing, about the 50s, close to the 60s. Oh, really? I would say lower. I feel like 40. 40? Yeah. Right. Okay, so this, this is a 40 IBU beer. Oh, I, got, I yeah. said 40s and 50s. It can range here from different taste buds, you know what I mean? But that's on the scale, on the IBU scale, it lands out at 40. So I was in that range right there. Here's, what scale is this I one? Said, <laughs> All right, that's another episode for different scale. kind of chips. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really funny. enjoyed this one. Yeah. Um, I love hazy IPAs. I'm not a big fan of just straight IPAs. I like them either uh, double or triple IPAs, but hazy IPAs have, are one of my favorites along with sours. Um, I'd recommend this to anybody that already drinks beer. Yeah. Not any new beer drinker though. No. Who? Someone who enjoys the taste of hops. Obviously IPAs. Someone who buys Blue Moon and Heineken and you know the wheat beers or those are half of Wisens. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is a whole different kind of. Uh, level of drinking i would say <laughs> oh, <laughs> no 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 i'm not trying to sound all cla classy and stuff no I, see that's where i was trying not to go towards no what i'm saying is i'll show you what because no trust me like you're right know, are you expensive you know yeah. yeah and that's for the individual you know we don't want you guys thinking that these no, beers no. are just extremely out of your price range yeah. though these two from uh wild barrel i think these are 5.99 each this Each. I bought a four pack for thirteen dollars. Yeah. Um, this was a four pack for fifteen dollars, fourteen ninety five. Yeah. Um, I don't remember what you paid for this. I think it was like five ninety nine. It's like yeah. around six bucks. Probably. Yeah, five ninety nine. I think it's the thing. same thing for this. Around one. five or six bucks. I think. But you uh, know, oh, go ahead. no, bro. Let's we'll say uh, one thing is like you know how people buy beer in huge packs. It's, yeah, you know, thirty two like packs. That. I feel like with these ones, you can drink a little bit and they hit a lot harder mm -hmm. than regular beer. And it's not even the high percentage in alcohol because they're not high percentages. It's just more it's refined. Quality, yeah. Yeah. It's funny that you beer. brought that up because like, like I said, you can enjoy it for what it is. Just maybe one or two, but not in bulk. You know what I mean? Yeah. As I've tried it, down you know I mean? beer after that's beer why, after craft and it's not. It's that's not why good. there's some that just have uh, like individually and some of them come in four packs. Some of them come in six packs but never like a 12 pack that I've seen, you know? So we got, uh, what what beer do you recommend for a gloomy day hike? Ooh. I personally, on the gloomier days, I like IPAs Ooh, who said and that? Who, said that? who said that? Who asked that actually? Uh, Jay Marr. Oh, okay, we know that is. On a Hiking hit. and whatnot. <laughs> okay, and well. Thank you to everybody for t always trying to butt in here. <laughs> hazy IPAs. So I would say hazy. And not because, oh, it's hazy or kind of overcast, kind of cloudy, which kind of toward, goes towards the hazy, but that a hazy IPA would really go into a, a nice overcast, cloudy, I want to say gloomy day, because you wouldn't want it to be gloomy. I just know I like right hazies and, I, and straight IPAs on cold days when we go hike Bell Mountain or I go in the rain or with storm clouds over me, for some reason, the IPAs and hazy IPAs taste a lot better. Um, I don't know about sours and that type of weather. I don't think I've taken a sour up there. I've taken a stout. we have, but not really thought about it till how we're thinking about it yeah, now for true. the for the weather condition. Yeah. Cold, hot. I also want to know if you guys want us to go live on one of our hikes. They're kind of just a... Uh, they're kind of boring until you get there. No, like for somebody to be watching, I mean, being there and doing it, I love hiking. It's yeah. one of my favorite things to do. And we'll take like six beers with us every time. So we get to the end point and we'll just chill there for two, three hours and drink a few beers and just experience nature all around us. Um, but going live as we're hiking, you're going to hear a lot of <laughs> <laughs> life alert. <laughs> life alert. Where's my life alert? <laughs> I've fallen. Okay, yeah, I died. Anyways, now we don't so want to just let us know if you guys think we should. <laughs> Let's see. A little life okay, alert. Cool. So we're down to one one more beer. That's for the gentleman. We've that only we been all. in an hour and we're already on our last beer. We went a lot quicker than last time, but definitely. It's we all kind of started with the beer before this. Well, some of us. And uh, so I guess we're just <laughs> <definitely>. <laughs> <laughs> so it is no shaking involved for this one right here. No shaking, no stirring, no. So this is out of the chart today. This is something that we're jumping. This is a drought stout. So it falls into the stout categories of uh, 
if you want to call it beers. There we go. It's more of a, I don't know if anybody's had nitro coffee, you know? Yes. That's what this one's gonna have a yeah. hint of. Like, like so, it's no bitter, at, no bitterness whatsoever. You'll get an experience darker on the dark side of on the beer, you know? Like dark bitter? Exactly the way the color of the can is, that's how dark it yeah, is. Yeah, everybody knows Guinness for being a yes. dark ass beer. Um, it is a very dark beer. But they have all their beers are different in flavor. But well, they have beers that you would think if you were blindfolded and you drank it, you wouldn't know it was a dark beer. I think they have some beers like that. No, I I would know actually. Oh, look at you, professional. No, I'm not. Drinker. Darker beers, you can tell they're more coffee based, chocolate based. That's what they are. Yeah, I can easily. Maybe we'll incorporate that in, in, in an episode. You know what I mean? We'll we'll blindfold someone yeah. and then yeah, and say what kind of an IPA. Yeah. And then get a get a slap on the back of the head if they get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> See if we actually know what we're talking about or we're just reading yeah. off the cans. So this is Guinness Drought Stout, um, St. James Gate, Dublin, Ireland, or that's where it's they they signed a nine thousand year old lease. So, oh yeah, if you guys aren't going anywhere, commercial, um, or ad that they had running right now for the coronavirus saying they had no choice but to make it because they've signed a 9,000 year lease on the building or Sheesh. Yeah. whatever they're renting there. The money. That's a crazy commitment. Hey, there's the oldest brewery, correct me if I'm wrong, somewhere out there on YouTube, but I'm pretty, it, it dates back to the 1100s and it's still going on since then. Where they're brewing this beer at? Yes, the same, and this is I think in Germany, so. The one of the old, like I say, 1100s. I remember the brewery. Dublin, Ireland. But this one. Oh, though you're talking about a different. Yeah, oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll look it up and uh, get more information on it. Maybe I'll have it on the next episode. So this can actually has a little plastic ball inside of it, I guess, yeah. to keep it aerated? Yeah, right? that's what keeps it nitro. That's plastic a, ball. Yeah, mm -hmm. so no mistaking it like, oh, there's something in my drink. No, that, that's actually the little nitro. Yeah, it says it right here. Upon opening the famous round plastic widget, and every can unleash, unleashes nitrogen through the beer, creating the creamy head and iconic surge that's distinctively Guinness. Yeah. To a, best enjoy, open the can and wait a moment for the nitrogen to release. Pour into a glass tilted at 45 degrees. I'm sorry. Is it gonna be like, I'm on a diet? Oh, no. What do you mean? That, the, I'm on a diet from Hamilton Family Brewing. Oh, I remember that one. I remember that you one. You remember it? Yeah, <laughs> now that you brought that. Holy mother. No, Holy this one's snap. a little Fourth bit smoother. July. This one's smoother than that. Super smooth. I don't know if you've ever had a Guinness. Well, because you mentioned it's like a coffee. Yeah. yeah, this one's more like super so simple. Like, for, for it's not good. If you like that one, I don't know if you, how you liked it. I don't it know. Was good. It was good? Mm -hmm. Then, and like I said, the, the thing that you hear from a lot of people, if they say that, oh, I don't like Guinness, then you know their, their taste is not where it, okay. it needs to be in the darker side, which is, a, this is a dark beer. The dark side, once you go yeah. black, you never go back. <laughs> yeah, <once you> go <laughs> back. If you want to use that phrase right there, like I said, I like stouts, I like porters, but not, not you know, that's my natural tone right there. <laughs> Can't tell by my beard, anyways. He's like, I didn't say that. Sure, Bert. Anyways, <laughs> so make sure you clean your glass. Make sure you clean your glass because we're about to pour some Guinness. We're about to get extra foam, say. Eh? We gotta give it a few minutes for the, all the nitrogen to release. No, it's already there. Here, watch. I'll start from this side. Look it's at almost that. as fast as you, Zimby. Pour the whole can, why don't you? No, I did it. That's mostly head right there. But it's. <laughs> <laughs> See, I knew your mind was gonna go somewhere else over there. <laughs> it's a nice head, right? Now. <laughs> okay, okay, come on. You guys, all right. This is Here's your head over here. This is a family this show. This is a family show Watch. about beer. Inside joke, beer. inside joke. All right. Between couples. All right. So. Let's give it a sniff test. I want to see their reaction to the, yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's like let like the ones in the back yeah. speak. What do you think? Mm, I like it. You like it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. It's, I thought it was going to be a little harder. Ooh. Ooh, watch. Once we get around, I'll show you this other. <laughs> we'll talk about it more. 
Oh, because it's a dark beer? Yeah. But right? <laughs> it's I, a lot I, smoother, right? Wait, what is going on here? <laughs> not as bold as I thought, I guess. Now you've had Guinness, Just now you can bit. say you enjoy it. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. I like Guinness. Oh, we got Guinness. one more opinion from back there. Hold on, let's see. And to let you know why there's no carbonation, that's why it's nitro. So oh. it's not that it's flat, that's how it is. Oh, I like this one. I wouldn't say it was flat. It's I would just really say it was good. smooth. Well, Oh, I'm glad you said that, you know? Smooth. Okay, so we got smooth from back there. Smooth. Let's see. We'll let you go for a smell and test, taste. If you guys got that on camera, you already know. But, um, <laughs> it's a Guinness. Well, I feel like it's watered down. Watered down Guinness. Oh, no. I like it. Yeah? If I was eating, like, some Oh, water. I see what you, because it's not carbonated. Oh, yeah. yeah. So over there in the, in the, in the UK area, they, uh, they think of our beer as like, what's that fizzy stuff? Oh really? Yeah, like over there they have a lot of uh, stuff like this, like less fizzy or no carbonation, you know, whatsoever. Like that, uh, another one, I'll probably get it when I get a chance. It's a Boddington's, it's a, it's a- Boddington's? Yeah, it's a pub ale and it's from the UK, imported from the UK. And that one's like, same thing, the cans have a, a little nitro capsule. Yeah. And that's how they drink their Does beer. Does it completely over there. disappear or is it still in there? Oh, it's still in there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's in the can. It feels really light. Like when you're drinking it, it's like a light. I don't know. What do you think, Garrison? I don't know, but I get a hint of chocolate. <laughs> yeah, most stouts and porters have like a hint of chocolate to them. That's funny because at the. At Bevmo, when I, when I uh, used to get it over there. Um, they had a chocolate spy Guinness that they also make mm -hmm. and hence, you know, how you said chocolate, it has like a chocolatey aftertaste. It smells like cigar water to me. Cigar <laughs> water. I know I've, I've kind of expressed or described one beer as, smell, as, as yeah, like, smelling as I was about cigarette to water. Yeah. Yeah. This one smells like <laughs> cigar water. <laughs> like, we dipped it. Like nice <laughs> it reminds me of like, it would be like the beer of Kahlua. Yeah. Mm. I like it. I like it a lot. Hiking and whatnot left a comment. What do you say? That's totally a hipster comment. Can you each state your favorite beer or your favorite style Ooh. beer? Oh, it's Anthony. Age Ooh. and where you had your first beer. Love that. All right, let's go ahead with it. Let's get Aaron can start this one. Bandit. What is your favorite style of beer? Man. Wait, and what age? The, our age or the age of the beer? I don't know. I don't know how. Uh... Probably what, like what age you, you started drinking? Oh, yeah, your first like... beer and at what age? <laughs> I started when first I was fifteen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, hey, no, 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 no. That was a joke. 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 Your parents aren't watching. No, no, no that was a joke. That was a joke. No, was you're Hispanic. <laughs> All right, for me. What is that? Tacla. I didn't drink beer until I was 21 and I threw a party and Samuel Adams Boston Lager looked like the sweetest, best beer in the world. So bought a few cases of that and some other variety of beer. And my first beer was on my 21st birthday or a day before or after. And it was a Samuel Adams Boston Lager at 21 years old. And I thought it was disgusting. <laughs> I thought beer was the most disgusting thing in the world. You know, I wanna, I'm trying to think. I want to say, the first time I had alcohol, I was, we were doing beer? We're gonna do beer? No, we're doing age. No, 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 no. <laughs> it was um, my senior year, and I went to Vegas. And what happened to Vegas? Stays in Vegas. Yeah, stays in it, so we can't hear about it, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if you remember. This is my older brother, Garrison, just to get clarify. I guess it was when I was 17. Like, I was still in high school, so typically, you know, going to the quinceañeras and all those parties. So, first beers were Coronas and Tecates. I've had both of these. <laughs> all right. So, uh, back to what the question was. Which ones are... You said you were 15? No, that was a joke. <laughs> not 15. Oh, I know you're not 15. <laughs> no, 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 no. That was like 15 years ago. No, that wasn't 15 years ago. <laughs> no, and then again, this is a joke. Anyways, anyways. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I would say right now my favorite kinds that I've been on a streak with are hazies. 
besides the other stuff that I'm usually in. Oh, um, I didn't name my favorite, but go ahead. Yeah, something uh, Imperials, I know how they taste, but that's something I'm trying to get more into because those are a little bit on the on the next level of uh, craft beer drinking, I would say for me, is to enjoy an Imperial whatever it is. It can be an Imperial Stout, uh, Imperial IPA. Those are the, the ones that are gonna be next on the ones to go to for me. But right now I enjoy hazies and sours and then everything else falls below that. My favorites so far have been um, hazies, I would guess, hazy IPAs. Just because there's such a broad spectrum with them, they can be very sweet yes. or very happy. And you don't you don't really know what you're gonna get. I mean, it could be anything in between. Sometimes they're really flowery, sometimes they're really citrusy, sometimes they're really rare, very hoppy and dank. But you just never know. They're just surprised every time. I like how they use the word dank in there. <laughs> My favorite one so far has been the sour ones. It gives you the, the different kind of taste either you want guava if you want strawberry you know just something for the summer yeah and you tend to be somebody that likes sweets a lot since i was little i remember my older brother just candy 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 and more candy so this guy he loves sugar and it's no surprise to me that he likes the sours but i was surprised when he said he liked the hazies from last week um, but let's let's go on to uh, Roger here. You know, my favorite one would be kind of hard to tell. It's just, it depends. Maybe it's on the environment we're ha hanging around with, stuff like that. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Like, if I was, you know, just trying to relax, be by myself, I would do IPA. But if I had friends around, you know, want to get something sparked up, um, definitely into sours. So, would you say today's choice of beers would fit the. So, right now, um, IPAs, you know, got the music going on in the background. You're not really, you like, kind of being lonely, but you're just chilling with a group of people. Yeah, yeah uh, what about back there? What do you guys think? I think sours are my favorite. Sours? And Babe Tricks. And that's, you're a female, right? That's my Prairie Babe one. Tricks? Oh, Babe Tricks? Hey, she even remembers the name of that one. one this one right here. Oh, wow, Babe Tricks. Damn, she even knew that one. I know that one. That one's crazy. Yeah, and the one that you picked up right above that one, I would say is yeah, like this, super sour. This is one of the most sour, sour beers. That one, I tried yeah. it and it tasted like right? a Lucas type of candy kind of thing. Yeah. Well, remember how it, that one? I said that one looks like they dropped yeah, it out of salt. Yeah. Yeah. Himalayan <laughs> salt, because it's a little bit more tangy. So it, like this. Yeah, but <laughs> the glass. so far is my favorite, but Vatrix, that's my Damn. favorite one. Damn, hey, you gotta stock up because <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I don't think I've said it enough that Prairie Ales is my favorite brewing company. Even their stouts, um, everything they make is just amazing. I think their art is cool, their cans are cool, and then their beer tastes great. I really like this one. I want another one of these now. Damn. I still got like that that cigar water stuck in my mouth <laughs> kind of taste, but I liked it. Huh? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you think? You like it overall? Or? <clears throat> It's not really my type. Um, I like to have the fizziness in it. I don't like flat beer. You know, mm, like I said, I'm more of a sour person. So, so yeah. another. Um, if you thought, for example, he thought it was, he likes more of the sours. So another one that you can make with Guinness is called a, a snake bite, which you'll probably hear of. You can mix any kind of cider with Guinness and make it split. Well, there's a trick to it. You have to do it though. But you can make the Guinness flow on top of the cider, kind of like oil and water. Yeah, I think so I would post a few places. Yeah, a few places uh, do that. See, a few places uh, will know what you're talking about if you request a snake bite. But that's something uh, that, like you saying, in sours. I'm pretty sure if, if you still enjoyed it, still you know on the on the slider bit side, you will enjoy it a little bit more with. The cider in this. Um, yeah. What did you think of it? Um, it was a, a, a it was a watered down Guinness to me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the nitro based one. So every time you see nitro on a beer, uh, you know it's gonna have you no know, carbonation. Yeah, it's gonna yeah. be like that. So just to, you know. Well, guys, that was our last beer of the night. 
so far this is what we had one two three four five six seven beers started with the sweet and sour moved on to dank and sticky this is this was good i liked it back to sweet and sour and then to just like sour sour what do you guys say this is more yeah, sour so that than one was, uh, yeah, yeah. No, i would say out of all of them yeah that the one sherbet was sweet to me i don't really? know why it was really sweet see and that's what, what's cool about having different uh people on the show is to give you guys more uh more to choose from as far as who you can align yourself with better that way you're not at the gas station wondering or at the liquor store or wherever you buy your beer wondering what you're gonna like um, maybe you like what Roger likes. Maybe you like what Aaron likes and you can better align yourself Maybe you like what Garrison likes here and uh, when they say they like it You know you like it or when they say they don't like it, you know, you don't like it So you don't waste your money on something you don't like um, We also got asked there. Sorry. We got asked if we would brew our own beer You know, we've been talking about it. Um, I think as soon as this whole coronavirus thing is over we might try to start brewing our own batch of beer but we really have no clue <laughs> Dude, are you where so to funny? start you know i have no clue <laughs> no idea what's up me neither i have no idea where to it start. would be fun that would actually be really really cool probably poison ourselves no <laughs> i don't think that would be possible but what would you make what would we that's make that's another yeah, question. that's a good question well i mean they sell these kits that i've seen uh, whatever is in there i guess i don't know they're just probably first time just yeah for the first time whatever's in that well, bag it would be definitely uh a kind of ale. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, they're all this. But what I'm saying is, to me, it would be like a maybe a lager kind yeah. of, uh -huh. or a blonde ale kind of style of. A, yeah, something clear. Yeah. Like you know the beer we're all used to drinking, the Coronas and Budweisers, yeah. and Modelos, Modelos. Yeah, those are like Mexican lagers. You would uh, make one of those beers? Could we get a drink and sticky from you? Those lager. Oh, type. definitely. We'll oh, split yeah. the other. Well, those are Mexican lagers. We'll continue it's having fun here. American while you guys have some fun at your guys' homes, all these beers were bought at Valero Beer Cave. Again, it's Valero Beer Cave inside Valero Depot on uh, Bear Valley and Armagosa or Amar Amargosa, whatever. Uh, once you go in there, buy a beer, just mention Elevated sent you or Beer Venture sent you. And uh, if you guys have any questions, 